Hello there. My name is Klaus Rostel and I'm doing 100 innovation keynotes in 100 days. This is number 40. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is pretty obvious from the situation I'm in right now, but it's not always obvious that it's a big hindrance for innovation. And that is the lack of having backup possibilities, the lack of having an alternate way of solving your core business and why that leads to not innovating. Now, right here, as you can see, this is my office. Here's like, here's the, the ring lights and there, and there's the green screen when it's not in use. It's, there's the microphone, the beloved Yeti microphone on a stack of books. So you're seeing this backstage right now because I want to showcase a certain point. That point is right now, my computer is updating. I'm getting a new operating system on my Mac and that's lovely. Of course, it's taking a bit longer than expected, which means that with the tight kind of deadline I'm under, getting today's keynote made today is going to be a little bit tricky because it just keeps on updating and updating and I'm running out of time. Now, why is that relevant? Why am I showing you guys this? Well, I'm showing you guys this because, and I'm just gonna have, ah, uh, ah, uh, shit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna rotate to a slightly more pleasant view if I don't knock down everything. And that is because there's so often that we are in our businesses, in our organizations, we want to innovate, we want to change something. We want to improve it or experiment or make it better or maybe even just repair it, but we can't because it's in use. If you've ever been on a highway, and I guess most of you have, or just on any road and half of that road is closed because it's being, it's being repaired, it's being improved, it's being upgraded, whatever. It's annoying, yes. Sometimes if you're going from a two-track road to a one-track road, it can be really annoying because traffic is now stopping one way. But it's very rare that it goes to a zero-track road, at least unless there's an opportunity to drive some, some other way. But there are plenty of places in the world where there's just that one road. There's just that one track, or if you're lucky, there's two tracks, one going in each direction. But if you stop that road, if you kind of say, we're going to work on it for three months, or we're going to experiment, or we're going to whatever, then suddenly that travel becomes impossible because there is no alternate. Now here, I'm lucky enough. I normally record my keynotes on a setup with the computer. You can see still uploading, <laughs> uh, still still upgrading. Normally I record them on the computer using the green screen setup and the microphone here, and that's my preferred setup. Now I'm lucky enough that my iPhone is good enough and it has a good enough microphone, good enough camera, that I can do it on my phone as I'm doing right now. So it gives me a viable backup opportunity. I still have the problem right now. I can't do the editing without having access to the computer, but the editing, I can do that later. So I can take one part of the task, which is doing the keynote. That's what I'm doing right now. And I can do that on my alternate. Then I can do the editing on my computer later before I do the uploading. And if I was, if I was in trouble, then I'd say, you know what? I'm going to ignore the branding. I'm going to ignore the intro music, the outro music. I'm just going to get this uploaded to my YouTube channel, which I can do from the phone, and I'm going to post it on LinkedIn, which I also can do from the phone. From the phone. It won't look as nice as normally. It won't fit perfectly into the, the kind of standard scheme of things, but it will be there, and I will be on track with my one keynote a day. So I have the opportunity to use alternate means to get my keynote for today done. Now, why is this interesting? What, what the hell does it have to do with innovation? The reality is it has everything to do with innovation. Because if you don't have that opportunity, let's say that the only way I had to record keynotes was using my webcam and my computer and my uh, microphone, and I couldn't do it. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have any other options. I even, if I'm trick, I mean, there's even a video camera there that I could use if needed. So I have, I have even more options. I have a deep bench, so to speak. There's even an old phone somewhere. I'm loaded with options for doing this. Now, a lot of the time we don't have that luxury. We have the one thing and it does what it's supposed to do, but we can't just take it out without our businesses suffering or our organizations being in trouble because the thing that's there, whether it's a road or it's a computer or it's a person or it's some sort of process, we can't really take it out, give it a break, 
tweak it a little bit, experiment, try out new things without also breaking or at least endangering our core functionality, our core business. This, of course, leads to stagnation. This leads to lack of innovation. Of course, if you go to, let's say you take a train line, the TGV train line, the Eurostar going from London to France, from England to France uh, under the English tunnel, under the English channel, I mean, under the English channel, is a lovely train. But if you close down that track, if you close down that tunnel and said, we're going to tweak the tunnel, we found some ideas for how to, to do it differently and just give us three months to experiment on it and we'll make it better. We'll improve operational safety, capacity, whatever, by 10%. We'll reduce costs by 20%. All that sort of nice stuff that you would normally go for as a company or an organization. And all we need is three months of experimentation. Then... There's no alternate. Yes, people can fly. Yes, they can uh, take a ferry. So there is an alternate that way, but there's no direct alternate for the Eurostar route. There's no, okay, we'll just switch it to tunnel B because there's only the one tunnel. It's not like there's eight tunnels going under the English Channel and you just, okay, we're going to use number seven today. They're working on number six. But that redundancy, that resilience is critical when it comes to innovating because it means that you could take chances. Right now, for me, just to, to stay with the example, we are here. It says about six minutes remaining. I know that's a lie. That That is a lie. You are lying, Macintosh computer. But it says that. And when I started it, I knew that I had a backup opportunity. I knew that if I got it, if it, if it fit the time schedule, then all would be good. I could do the keynote in the time that I, I thought I'd have available. But if it failed... I wasn't worried because I had a backup, the one I'm, I'm using right now. I had my phone. I had the other phones. I had plenty of options. And therefore, I wasn't worried about innovating, in this case, upgrading. I wasn't worried about what would happen if it went over time. But too often we are because what if it goes over budget? What if it goes over time? What if it doesn't work out the way it's supposed to? And even what if it does work out the way it's supposed to? Can we still afford that? How many of us can afford to shut down our core functionalities, our core businesses, our core whatever it is we do, products, services, experiences, communities, whatever it is we do, how many of us can sh afford to shut that down and for how long? How long before we lose consumer trust, before we lose the respect of our users, before we lose the kind of the practical everyday application of what we do? Even if we tell people, that's if we tell them, but in others, what if we don't tell them? What if they don't hear about that? Then that is an even harder question. If we can just kind of route them to tunnel number two, or, okay, they're going to take, if they can't get to the website this way, by this path on the internet, they'll just take another path. That's fine. The internet's really good that way. There are many roads to Rome on the internet, that's for sure. But in the physical reality that a lot of us inhabit most of the time, there are not that many roads to Rome. Sure, there is the old joke, every road leads to Rome, beautiful, but it's just not true. Because if you shut off enough roads, then you're going to run out of options on how to get to Rome. Then you can go there by sea, you can go by plane. Of course, I get that. What if you shut those down too? What if you're innovating there? So the more built-in resilience you have, the easier it is to innovate. The 747, I don't know if this is true anymore, but I was told many years ago, uh, by somebody in the know that the 747, the Boeing 747 jumbo jet, had seven independent systems to make the landing gear go down. So when the pilot presses the button, says landing gear go down or the switch or however that works. I haven't been in a 747 cockpit. Then there should be seven independent systems that say just wheels go out. And if just one of them works, then the wheels go out. Now, that's brilliant. That's That's beautiful because it means that five of them could fail. And you'd still have two that worked. So if the Boeing engineers or repair people or whoever came near to an aircraft could say, huh, there's something wrong with element number six. Let's, uh, let's look at it. Let's, let's kind of fix it. Then they could do that without panicking because they know there are other systems in place. They can just reroute, okay, this time the pilot uses one of the six systems instead of seven, it's still fine. But if you only have one system, if you only have one kind of button that does the job or one process that does it, or one guy who knows it, or, or one thing, then when that breaks down, you're in trouble. 
And if you need to innovate and something goes wrong, or even if it's just, just the possibility of it, then you're in trouble. And that's why a lot of people today are so dependent on their computers, their phones, their laptops. And while they're working, it's fine. But if I say, hey, I've got a thing here. I could take your laptop and I could make it work twice as fast. But it's going to be out of it's going to be out of kind of auto operation for two weeks. Then some people will say, oh, it's great. It's just my backup computer. It's just lying here, not really doing anything most of the time. Just like <clears throat> my laptop, because my laptop is here. Or at least the laptop I use for some of my company work is not, it's not mine. But it's the company laptop I have. It's here. And it means that I can use that. But I also have, again, the computer, which still says, yeah, you guessed it. It's not ready yet. So I can not worry too much about that. But if I was a hardcore consultant and I did all my work on that laptop and somebody said it's going to be out of operation for two weeks, I'd be like, that's going to kill me. That's going to, that's going to be utterly unacceptable. And that's the thing that stifles innovation. If you cannot find a replacement, if you don't have that resilience built into your organization or your product or whatever it is, if you only have that one road to Rome, and you better not shut it down to try to put on better bricks because what's going to happen with all the people who wanted to use it while it was being shut down? Sometimes we need to do that. I get that. But it's often that when a decision comes to a decision maker's table and they say, we have one thing that's doing a job. I'd like to take it out of operation to see if I can improve it. The answer will be no. Not because we don't want innovation, but because we can't afford whether it's time or money or respect or trust, we can't afford to take it out of operation, to tinker on it. And that stifles innovation like crazy. So, my computer is still not done upgrading. When it will, it's going to be beautiful. But I'm just happy that I had the chance to do this keynote on a different device because it meant that I didn't have to be afraid of upgrading my computer. Thank you for listening.